Welcome to Michelle's Storytime. I am Michelle and I am excited to read The Tyrell Show Season 1 by Miles Gross, illustrated by Shaz Lim. And I will only read Episode 10, A Sandwich. Good morning, everyone. It's been a long time since my last show. I could make up some excuse as to why, but I haven't done one in a while. Like my brain microphone was broken or the people who write my show stopped coming to work, but all that would just be lies and not even good ones. First of all, I write my show in my head all by myself. And for all the time that I spend in my head, I've never actually seen a brain microphone. If I'm being honest, the real reason I haven't done a show is that I felt a little sad about the sixth grade. I also felt a little mad, but mostly sad. Still not sure why, though. I guess it's because it's not what I expected it to be. I don't have a lot of really good friends in my class. And even more than that, I don't feel any different. I thought I would feel older, like more grown up, but I don't. Still, I'm really not completely sure why I feel sad. But I do know for a fact that I do feel mostly sad. How do I know I've been feeling mostly sad, you ask? Because the other day, my mother made me a peanut butter, jelly, marshmallow, and turkey bacon sandwich. My favorite. Why she thought to add turkey to turkey bacon to it? I'll never understand, but it's the one time that her extra ingredient is just perfect. She almost never makes that for me because she says it's not healthy. But she made it because she could tell I was sad and she thought it would cheer me up. Normally it would, but I don't know. I guess I just wasn't in the mood to feel better. Messed up thing is that she brought it up to my room. My room. She pretty much never lets me eat in my room. She put it on my desk and said, okay, before you make fun of me for saying I love you too, mommy, I only said all that mommy stuff for her. Okay, now I'm not saying I don't love my mom. Of course I do, but I'm getting too old for all that mushy I love you stuff. But I know she likes it and well, she did make me my favorite and bring it all the way up to my room. So it was the least I could do. Anyway, back to that sandwich. Normally, that salty peanut butter mixed with sweet jelly, gooey marshmallows, and yummy bacon, yum, would automatically cheer me up. But it didn't. That delicious sandwich just sat there calling my name. And now, I will read the dialogue between Tyrell and the sandwich. Tyrell, Tyrell, is there something wrong? Leave me alone, Mr. Sandwich. I don't want to talk about it. Call me Sandy. Why don't you eat me? Thought I was your favorite. You are, but right now I'm not in the mood for you, so please just shut your bread. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Sandwich. I mean Sandy, but right now, a delicious sandwich is not the solution to my problem. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. 
sounds like you're upset about something. Yeah, school, I thought this year was going to be special, but it's not. I'm sorry to hear that. That must be very disappointing. What can you do to change that? Is there something in school you could get involved in? Terrell, if there's one thing that I've learned being a sandwich is that you can be anything. Look at me. I could have been a ham sandwich or an egg salad sandwich or as much as it would have hurt a grilled cheese sandwich. I could have been anything, but in the end, I became exactly what you wanted me to be, and so can you. Maybe you're right, Sandy. I think I would try out for the show. Thanks. Glad I could help. Now, one last thing. What? Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Sticky page. A sticky page. Okay, if I'm being honest, I didn't really have a conversation with my sandwich. I mean, if I did, the last part would have ended with the sandwich screaming in pain as I ate it. The truth is, my dad came into my room a little later and talked to me. He was the one who told me that I could be anything I want to be. That sandwich didn't say anything to me, which is good because that would have just been scary. I will say later that day after I ate it, Sandy was definitely talking in my stomach and most of what it was saying was pretty bad. I think it sat out too long. Thank you for listening to episode 10, The Tyrell Show, season 1. Please remember to listen for episode 11. You need a good breakfast. Thank you again for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.